Hey there, welcome back guys. In this video we're going to talk about autonomous flights and drone mapping. For those of you who are interested in doing uh, drone gametry, it's really easy. Um, thanks to the software that's available to you, such as DroneLink. There are others out there. Uh, DroneLink is, is not bad. It's not free. That's the thing. So um, they do have a hobbyist version, uh, but the hobbyist version does not let you adjust the gimbal. That's the only thing that's disappointing. Um, and then once you have all your images that you took to get your mapping, you would need something like uh, Drone Deploy which is really expensive. They do have individual plans, but as you can see, it's just not feasible. I mean, unless you, you're billing the client and it has a hobbyist, it's not gonna work out monthly at that price, right? Um, that's for individuals. But if you go to Maps Made Easy, right? Similar, it has a similar experience. Uh, they will have some better pricing, right? Um, and as you can see, pay as you go, you get that, you have subscription, and you get this. Now, their subscription rates are just m much better. Um, so like, for example, if we click on the pay as you go, as you saw, it, it's, it, well, it's, let's see, pay as you go. Pay as you go, 799, 300 points, gives you 125 images. So it's based on how many images. So the less images you have, the cheaper it is, the more images you have, the more expensive it is, right? But if we go back and we view subscription plans, um, you can do per year. And as you can see, um, it's similar experience for the um, megapixels, right? And then you have cost gigapixel, uh, 0.36 cents. So you, you're gonna eat it up pretty fast um, as a hobbyist. So if you wanna, you can try it. Um, but you know, choosing the pro version, and as you can see, you're still limited because it's all that that's going to eat up, right? One hundred and fifty dollars a year, but you still have a cost per per pixel, right? And terrain processing one thousand, and this one you have um, ten thousand. So you have to decide what's best for you. But the um, best thing is that uh, what is it? Drone, not drone links, but drone deploy does give you a free trial right so if you go to uh drone deploy my dashboard i have 14 days okay see trial expires in 14 days and then i have to choose to upgrade so for the sake of this video it's just going to be a trial and then you know you decide what you want to do and maybe there are others out there like um it'd be nice to know if there's another source that actually does this um because i actually met someone who mapped the field that i'm going to be mapping without using drone link he just basically took the pictures with the mavic 3 um and um and then uploaded them to uh, maps made easy uh, so it is possible but this is um this actually does help you all right so let's get started so we log in, I can click save my password. As you can see, I have a respiratory that's created. Respiratory is the main folder. As you see, it's public. Um, and then I have called soccer field. Now, the one thing you have to look out for with drone link is that it, it's gonna put you somewhere else. I put an address in here and it didn't put the address here. Uh, like for example, I'll close this out and I'll click on Maple Avenue. I typed in the address here for Maple Avenue and it actually put it right here. And I'm like, wow, something looks really different about this, but I just can't figure out what it was. And then I realized that it put the address over here, which was really weird instead of over here. Now, the tricky thing with this is, yes, I plan to map it, but first I'm gonna test it out in a field because one, um, as you know, this is a, a, a um, it's still in beta right and i had to figure out how to put it onto the dji um pro receiver so if we go here um there's actually a form i had to go to and the form tells you that you can't install um the drone links app on the rc pro receiver because it requires you to have the google play plugin running in the background but um you basically have to install it as an uh, SDK, the software developer kit, which is basically you go to the main link here and then you choose which um, receiver you wanna put it on. I actually chose, I'll tell you which one I chose. I chose the RC Pro Enterprise One, AppTK, and it works really well. 
um, it doesn't crash or anything. You could use RC Pro 2S or here, but this one's still in beta. I don't want to join the beta, and right now it just works uh, really well. Okay, so I've that the forums will help you uh, if you're having trouble installing it, but I'll leave the links here because basically you just choose which receiver you want to install it on. Okay, that being said, moving forward, we'll go back here. Remember, lots of trees, app still in beta. Um, we don't, and if you put the address here, I, I hope that um, 250 feet altitude actually is 250 and not 100. Remember, the app can be glitchy. All right, so let's go back to the field we're actually going to test it on, okay? We're gonna test it in a soccer field, open field, and see if everything is true to form. Um, this is the grid that I created. You create your own grid. Um, and as you can see, when you click here, see where it says soccer field? If I click on the name, it, there's a drop menu. I can, you can put a description. You put the name. The name I put was soccer field. Description is right there. You can say open field, right? You can put whatever you want, but I'm just choosing open field. Uh, specific takeoff. Re restriction, I put specific area, okay, so if I put, you could put none, but I chose, um, since it's an open field, right, I chose specific area, so you see the little airplane, restricted takeoff, that's where it's going to take off from, uh, which is great, um, and most likely it would take off here in a start point, see where it says start map, but I don't want that, because here are trees, here it's an open field, right? And these maps that are integrated with, um, this is DroneLink. This isn't how the field actually looks. This field has been renovated and changed. It's actually a beautiful soccer field. And why they haven't updated it, it could be the APIs. Um, that, that's the only thing I can think of. And you'll see as when we get to the field that there's no baseball field here anymore. The base, there is a baseball field here and this field is just beautiful. Um, and the pool is right there. So it's actually dated. So that's why I chose take off from right there because there's no telling what, it's not real time, okay? Um, so that's for specific. And then we have um, action on finish. I chose none. You can choose return home, auto land, et cetera. I don't want that because one, let's say if I'm back at Maple Avenue, there are trees. You can't choose auto land because as you know, a lot of times when you do return home, it's a couple of feet off and since there are trees i could choose return home um but you know if this is the first time I'm not, I'm not even sure if it knows where home is because remember this is beta so i just chose on action uh action on finish none because basically hopefully i can take over and remember this is being done on the mini 3 pro okay and then if you click the speed i chose is 16 miles an hour 16 is pretty good right that's a good nice pace um and then if I scroll down, I have to see uh, these are descent rate, minus 10, position, 75, distance. Now there's more options. Remember, this is when I clicked done, right? So that's when I clicked on the name soccer field, okay? Now to get more within the menu, you have to click, that's mission simulation, um, mission estimate. You can click on the mission estimate. As you can see, it's gonna take seven minutes and 14 seconds at the pace of 16 miles per hour. Total distance, one, 0.1 mile, altitude 200 feet, um, photos, it's going to take 67 photos and hopefully um, that will create a map, right? So then we click done. Now if you click here on this little um, hamburger menu, uh, you can click on settings, right? Open field, it brings us back there to where we were, etc. But now if I click here on the little drop menu, see that? I have map. So what we want to do is click on the map. See, now when I click on the map, it gives me options for the altitude setting. So again, uh, let's close that so you can just see it because it can be confusing. Um, on, no, I don't want to undo it. We'll just close it because it's tricky to get to that menu. So I go to soccer field, okay? And as you can see, the maps is right there. But if I just click that, see this little menu? Drop it. Now you have map. Now you can choose altitude. Okay, 200. I, I chose 200 because 200 is really nice. That's above the power lines, above any fence, above any trees, and above any house. For you, it might be 300. Remember, we're just testing it. But you want, for the first time, you want to make sure you're above everything. 
and hopefully 200 is actually 200 um, with this software that's actually in beta. Okay, now we clicked on uh, advanced. Okay, so well, that little drop menu. Okay, you're gonna start at 200 feet. See what that does. See that brings you there. Uh, there are seven boundary points. We'll go back to map and click on advanced again. All right, see that take off location, which is in reference, right? Uh, 15, 16 speed, um, distance, etc. Um, gimbal, uh, and that's it, right? So gimbal channel, gimbal pitch, how many degrees? I'm going to put 65, right? Now, the, the good thing is, is that I'm going to click current version, 65, okay? And I believe that's what I have it on the Maple Avenue one. Let's see, Maple Avenue, uh, I can click here on map. Click on advance, 16, grid, speed, um, gimbal pitch is 60. All right, so let's match it. See the gimbal pitch is 60. And, uh, we'll close this out, Maple Avenue, soccer field, again, map, and gimbal pitch. We'll just match it the other one so that everything's at 60 and we can compare, let's say, on another flight. All right, so now that we have that, whoops, current version, uh, everything is set, right? Target distance to 30, high wind tolerance is on. Not that it makes a difference because it's a drone. And then we're going to click done. Okay. And on that note, you can see everything here is great. Ah, there's one more thing you need to see. When you click on map, right? See where it says distance? See, I clicked on map, right? Camera overlap spacing, which is fine. Photo, distance, and pattern. See the pattern? Normal is like that, but we actually want grid, okay? So we chose grid. Now the only downside to this is that you can't select grid unless it's the paid version. So I saw some videos online that said, oh, you know, just select grid. I said, oh, I selected grid. I said, sorry, you need to upgrade to the like premium. And then I wanted to change the um, gimbal, right? I couldn't, I couldn't even change the gimbal without upgrading um, that 65 degrees couldn't be updated unless I actually purchased the um, premium, which is fine. As a hobbyist, uh, remember this is has a hobbyist, um, so this is to have fun. Uh, if you're, 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 you're if you're going to do this down the road professionally, there, there might be other licenses and certifications needed, or maybe not. Okay, so we click done. Okay, so now we 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 have 3D planner. We have mission estimate which is fine, we saw that, right? Uh, everything's still the same, 61 photos. Estimate is approximate use, the mission previewer for more accuracy. So click dismiss, the mission previewer is right here. See that? We're going to select it and click I understand. We all know, that's why I'm choosing an open field. It's generating a preview and voila, look at that. Now watch this, it's actually pulling from somewhere else, okay? Because this is not what the field looks like anymore, uh, if we watch. So we'll just press play. It's going to simulate um, the, the drone flying up in the sky. Looks like it's nighttime, but it's not. But we'll, you'll see in a second. So this is the drone going up, see? It's showing the altitude. And um, as you can see, it's right here on the left-hand side. 191, 197, 98, 99. It's traveling up at 13 miles per hour, which is fine. And now it's going to the first waypoint. Um, I'm not sure why we can't see. Ah, there we go. So you see, this is what it actually looks like now. So it's a little disappointing that here it's showing the old soccer field or whatever it was. And here it's showing the new soccer field. So that's why um, you have to give buffer and space for safety because we don't know where this is going to take you or the drone, um, but everything is set. And we need to make sure that the um, you can actually control the drone because remember, the, the, the flight is actually pushed through the drone link app on the RC receiver, right? Um, again, this can be done uh, probably with the Mavic uh, 3 is with your waypoint routes, you can, you know, plug them in and do it that way, fly the route and then have it set to take pictures. 
Um, but it's, it'll be a lot of pictures and it'll be trial and error. But with this drone link, right, it's it's going to be phenomenal because it's, it's autonomous. It's doing it for you. Um, so let's just speed up a little bit. All right. And see, so as you can see, follow this. This is the path it's going to fly. Let's see if I can do a two times zoom. No, that really doesn't do anything. Oh, that just zooms in the other one. All right, so that's there. I was hoping to zoom this little thing in. But as you can see, that's the flight pattern it's going. It's turning around. It's going that way. And then if we go here, right, see, we'll just speed it up. We're just going to scrub through it a bit. See, it shows the flight pattern that it's doing and how it's going to map everything. And, and then in the end, we'll just do it for the last few seconds. See, it goes back and it ends at the start point. And hopefully we'll be able to take over the drone from there um, and see what happens. And we're using the RC Pro. And as you can see what's happening here, the drone is actually the send, uh, it's, oh, it's, re it's looping again. So it started over again. Okay, so that's fine. So that leaves this half of the, uh, of the video and we'll see on part two uh, what happens after we upload the images that it took onto we're going to probably use drone deploy since it does supply a free 14 day trial and then you decide what you want to do and most likely for future uses um, you, you have to figure out a way to do it on uh, drone link so that you have minimum pictures right uh, and it actually tells you that when you do the mission estimate uh, it tells you uh, 61 photos which is great because that brings you within the a la carte price range um, of the uh, probably free right using the free motto over here access access to tier discounts you don't get and etc anyway on that note let's see what happens when we take this outside